it's Joe with Jolie Farms. Welcome back to the channel. I'm here today with my new friend Eduardo Pena and he's going to talk to you a little bit about his business. Eduardo, thank you for having us out today. Joe, thank you for coming too. We appreciate it very much. Why don't you tell people who you are and, and where you're from? Okay, uh, hello everyone. I am Eduardo. Uh, I am originally from Quito. I was born there. I was born. I was born there, and well, I lived there until I was like 18. Then I, uh, sorry, 25. Then I moved to another other places in Ecuador. I went into the forest to Tena. I was living in Guayaquil. I went out to live in China, and I ended up I ended up here in Vilcabamba three years ago. Just a few days before like the pandemic. Oh, wow. So yeah, that was the time when uh, I and my girlfriend we arrived to Vilcabamba and we start to do some businesses here, but well, you know, the pandemic hit and then, well, everything changed. The pandemic and, was tough, wasn't it? Yeah, and well, now one year ago, one year and a half ago, I have the opportunity to uh, continue with this business that was uh, originally founded by um, Hans. He was a German guy that founded like this place. And well, uh, we became really good friends and he just passed the business on to me and I have been like, continuing with this uh, sport, I like, trying to make people to to engage with it and, you know, to become familiar with archery and to, yeah, just get in love with, with the sport. So if you haven't guessed by now, Ed has an archery business. And so he uh, trains people how to shoot bow and arrow and uh, he has classes for children. Yeah, uh, we have classes for children since uh, Starting at five years old, I have uh, had children that are like five years old and have shoot their first arrows. And also people like around 70, 70, 75 years old that also my parents, for example, they came once to visit and they tried to shoot. Yeah, they were not like, you know, they say, no, this is too much for us, but they try it and yeah, it's, it, they enjoy it. So yeah, archery is for all kinds of people, like from the... Uh, like you know the youngest ones to to the oldest ones and young and old alike yeah. i think for older people as long as they have some good upper body movement and are able to stretch then yeah and also we have like different kinds of bows different uh, strength so that we can accommodate you know people that has like, just beginning and also people that has practiced for a while and they they need more strength for yeah to shoot that's great so um when, when people come here, what can they expect? They need to make a reservation with you or how's that? Well, now, work? now we are working with the open door. So you can just pop in and, you know, talk with us. Uh, if, you, if you want to have like uh, your own schedule, so it is always better to, you know, to make an appointment. So uh, we are, uh, because, you know, if people just come in, there are some people could be visiting because this is a tourist place. So there could be people that, you know, also comes and sometimes the, the place is full. So if you want, you know, like your space only for you, for your family, then sometimes it's better to make an appointment. But we are working, yeah, with the open door so you can, people can just come and pop in whenever they want. You come anytime or by appointment. So what, what kind of fees should someone expect for coming here? Well, we have different fees depending on the, um, experience that you are doing for example we have if you have never tried like archery we have like a one day experience is how we call it is when we uh, teach you how to shoot like a bow safely you know all the safe uh, safe uh, considerations and we make it fun so we play with balloons and we do some other stuff we give you prizes for your you know for the challenges that you pass so we make like uh, that initial experience something really fun for for people for to have a good time with their families we are charging then like we have two options if you do it like a 40 minutes like experience or one hour 20 experience and the prices start like from six for the 40 minutes and eight for the one hour 20 for children and eight and ten for the adult adults and we also have yeah like uh, special prices for groups like from four people uh, in advance we have like uh, like we, we are charging the youngest like the the, the, the young price yeah the, I mean the, the kids price so then there's group rates if you want to bring a group exactly if a if group and if you want to have your own experience by yourself or as a couple then we have like a price for for them 
And also we have, once you have practice, once you know how to shoot properly, safe, you know, to be safe with, by yourself, then you can practice by time. So we just, you know, we give you the, um, all the equipment that you need, the arrows, the bow, the protections, and then you can practice from starting at 30 minutes, that is $5, and then you can have like and up to, well, one hour, $8, one hour, $30, $10, and well, if you keep, want to keep practicing, then yeah, we, you decide. And so... Um you always have somebody here overseeing, making sure everything stays safe. For sure, yes. Uh, even though you you know already how to shoot, we are there is always someone here that is you know uh, keeping an eye on what's happening. On because yeah, sometimes can be someone that just comes to see and they they don't know the sa the safety procedures and they it could be dangerous. So we are always you know we are al there is always someone that is here like taking an eye on what's happening around. So everyone is safe because safety is like our priority. Fantastic. Good, clean, safe, fun. Yes, exactly. So Eduardo, um, what would you tell people who are visiting v Vilcabamba? What should they what should they enjoy about Vilcabamba? Well, mostly I think like, you know, and today we, we have like the, um, the pleasure to have a, a great day. So yeah, Vilcabamba is known for being like the to have this, uh, this eternal wood, spring this, exactly that's the name this eternal spring so i think that is one of the most amazing things of Vilcabamba. and also like you know being surrounded in this environment of uh, multi multicultural people you know that you have like i think like 70 nationalities so it's like you it's, it's an, an old an own culture here in Vilcabamba that i like you know having people from different places and being surrounded by this amazing nature by rivers mountains being so near from Podocarpus, you know I, I think that's like one of the most amazing things here in Vilcabamba that you can just come and visit and be relaxed and enjoy what's people offering here for for, for people yeah I, I agree and this this is this is like part of the the, the wonderful uh, aspect of Vilcabamba is you have wonderful things like Ed's business here uh, where you can come and do archery there's so much to do here we put out a video a while back and we had 36 things to do in Vilcabamba and that didn't cover but even half of all the things. But um, the video was an hour long. We had to stop somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's a lot to do here. Yeah, yeah. there is a lot to do. If you, pick, if you come here to Vilcabamba, you will be glad to be here. I think like I, I just every day I hear of people, you know, more people that is coming that want to live here because they have here for, for uh, yeah, from friends or from other people that Vilcabamba is, you know, this amazing place and yeah, it's like, wow. It is, it's a perfect atmosphere, I think. Perfect climate, you can't get any better than this. Yeah, it's true. We call it the idyllic climate. <laughs> yeah. Well, Ed, true. thank you so much for allowing us to come so, out today and no. experience this wonderful place. And thank you for being here and, and helping people to enjoy this wonderful sport. No, yeah. Um, thank you, Joe, for coming. And yeah, everyone that is out there, please come to Vilcabamba, visit us because if you haven't tried archery, believe me, you will love archery. And yeah, so everyone is invited to, to come and, and, and try. All right, we're gonna try it here in just a minute. So look, folks, I hope you enjoyed the video. Give us this thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. We appreciate everyone who subscribes. We appreciate your comments. We're gonna have some contact information for Ed in the uh, description box below so you can get in touch with him and, uh, and ask any questions that you have. If you want to ask questions in the comments section, Ed can get back to you and answer those questions in our comments section as well. You have a wonderful day. We'll see you next time.